Brazil has produced incredible football talents over the decades. Some reached their full potential, some faded too early. Today I'm taking forest screen, because biggest screen forests are in Brazil. From the bottom of EFL League 2 to the heights of the English football, using only Brazilian talents found by Youth Academy system. We will be scouting talents in Brazil only for 3 years, based on that we will accomplish the team and after it we'll try to win the Champions League with that team. So, as we are going to rebuild with only Brazilian Youth Academy players, for the first we have 2 million and we need to generate some money. And in Youth Academy we already have some Brazilian talent. His name is Alessandro Gonçalves. He's 15 years old and I'm going to train him until he becomes 16 and we can use him. That's kinda lucky. After selling couple of players, we generated enough money to sign Stein Kvaran from Iceland, 5 star 5 star scout. We're sending him to Brazil and the first type of player that we're looking for is goalkeeper. Okay, here we have our first scout report from Brazil. Dennis Teixeira, 83 to 94 potential, 16 years of age, 2.2 million pounds. That's great, we are going to sign him and send straight into the squad. He's 65 rated already, 6.3 lefty, goalkeeper position fixed. Next, we are going to set up scouting network in Brazil, try to find defensive minded players like center backs, right backs, left backs, etc. Maybe CDMs as well. In the second month of scouting in Brazil for defensive minded players, our scout brought us Bruno Gonçalves, we can sign him. Caio Reis has 825,000 market value and Carlos dos Santos, we are going to sign him as well. And let's check their ratings. So Reis is 58 rated. Okay, good. Dos Santos is only 52 rated, so we can train him. And Gonçalves is a CDM with 56 rating. He can become our CDM. And from the last month scouting for defenders, our scout brought Igor Borges. We are going to sign him. Let's send him back to Brazil and set position as a center back. And let's see what he can find in three months. Our scout has brought us Caio Correa. He has a low potential, 400,000 market value. So we're going to check his stats. Also, we got Felipe Almeida, only 15 years, but great potential for 94. And the price is 1 million pounds. Great, we're going to sign him. Felipe Almeida has 62 rating already, he is 15 and we can promote him whenever he will turn 16. Race is also good, other than that we have okay Youth Academy. Oh ho, here he is, Rafael Martins, 83 to 94 potential, he is 1,900,000, almost 2 million value. Let's sign him and bring him to the main squad. Let's check his rating, he is 64 rated already, 81 physicality, 60 defending, 73 pace, he is left is 6.3. Let's promote him directly to the senior team. And the last but not least, the final report of the first season, 82 to 94 potential. Caio Tavares. He has almost 2 million market value. And right after him, we got another super talent, Caio Cruz. He has 1.6 million market value and he's 16. We are going to promote him immediately. Caio Cruz is 16, he is righty. Okay, we can promote him and change position to right back because we have lots of center backs. Tavares has already 64 rating. He's a giant man, 6.6 .6 when he's only 15. <laughs> yeah, that is kind of strange, weird, but yeah, we'll take it. Okay, we simulated to the end of the season. Let's go to Standix and we are ninth. Not bad for the team that is in real life on 23rd position now. Let's see the squad and stats and check who did best. Taylor with 15 goals, 14 goals for Medex. Okay, we have 4 goals and 4 assists on Alessandro Gonzalez. Teixeira has 68 rating already. And let's see how many players we have already in the starting squad. In right mid position we have Gonzalez. Left center back position we have Martins. In goal we have Teixeira. Just 3 players in the first 11. After promotion the youngsters from the youth academy, in the beginning of the second season our defense looks like this. In goalkeeper position we have Denis Teixeira, 69 rated goalkeeper. In right back position we have Caio Cruz, two center backs, Martins and Almeida. And in the left back position we are going to convert Reyes from center back to left back. 
we are going to set up a new scouting system in Brazil and try to find technically gifted players. Edson Correa is the only player from 3 months scouting in Brazil for technically gifted players that our scout has brought us. He has good market value, it is 1.3 million pounds and we are going to sign him. 63 rated, good, we can promote him directly to the first team. Next scouting campaign we are setting in the Brazil to find some actual attackers. By the way, Caio Tavares is already 16 and we are promoting him to the senior team. Here we got Guilherme Araujo, he is decent, let's bring him in. Also Breno Fernandes, 15 years of age, 1.1 million market value, great potential, this is a good talent we have found. To this one, we are sending to Brazil to find specially strikers. We simulated to the end of the season and we are in 11th position in EFL League 2. This is not a good result in any way, but considering that we don't have enough attacking force in our team, this was to be expected. If we can bring a couple of good attackers to our starting 11, we will be good enough to smash League 2 and go straight forward to EFL League 1. So this is the squad in the beginning of the third season in EPL League 2 with Brazilians only youth academy. In goal we have Teixeira, the highest rated player in the team with 74 rating. Right back Cruz, Tavares, Almeida, Rice in the left back position. Lopez, we switched formation to 4 triple 2 and Lopez is converted to center mid position instead of CDM. In attacking midfielder positions we have Correa, Araujo, Two strikers up front that we got from the last scouting report, Barbosa and Andrade. For this year we are going to set the last scouting mission in Brazil and check for 9 months for any type of players. In the end of the third season we will have all the players we need and we will not continue our scouting mission but we are going to stick to the team and try to win anything possible with only that players. Our scout find Francisco Alves, he is 5.5 lefty with 2.9 million market value. He is 66 rated already, but we don't have any left wing position, so let's convert him to camp for now and promote to senior team after 19 weeks. After converting Breno Fernandez to camp, he goes up by 4 and now he's 68 rated. After third season we are finally promoted to EFL League 1 with 101 point. Let's check the individual stats of our players. Goals, we have Andrade with 20 goals, Omotoye from bench with 15 goals, he will not be in our team next season, Almeida the center back with 13 and Barbosa the second striker with 12 goals, Alves he came through in the middle of the season and 26 games, 6 goals and 4 assists is also ok for him. Season 4 with Brazilian Youth Academy only. Regarding Gold Teixeira, we only have one keeper. That's why we got a couple of keepers in the last report of the previous season. So we have some backups for Teixeira. In defense we have Caio Cruz in right back position, 75 rated already. Two center backs, Tavares and Almeida, they are both control lengthy. In left back position we have Reis. In the center mid position we have Kleber Lopez, our captain. Then we have Gonçalves as a CDM, two comps, Breno Fernandes from the right side and Alves from the left side. And two attackers, two strikers, Barbosa and Andrade. Also we have Martins, one of the major talents we found in Brazil and signed to our academy. Now we are going to convert him to CDM position, he will be playing over Gonçalves. Yes guys, we got back to back promotions, now we are championship team. Forest Green with Brazilian Youth Academy only, smashed the league 1, 93 points, 26 wins, 15 draws and 5 losses, 81 scored goals. Most exciting part is that we are in the final of the Emirates FA Cup. Yeah, this is kinda strange, I was not expecting that. I don't think that we need to play this one, we need to simulate, but before that, we need to check the squad, the stats for the season. Andrade with 22 goals, a good return for Andrade, Barbosa with 18 and 5, Lima is 17 from the bench, this is good, Breno Fernandes 11 goals and 10 assists. Forest Green, let's bring home our first trophy with Brazilian Youth Academy only. Who is going to win the FA Cup final and of course it is Manchester City. Yeah, that was to be expected, we were hoping for a miracle, but for now we are just not good enough. We will come for this trophy later, now we are going to championship to 5th season and see whether we can achieve back to back to back promotions. 
We have come to an end of the fifth season, first season and championship, and let's see the standings. And we are the second. We got direct promotions back to back to back from League 2 to Premier League. This was to be expected because we have a great team with two players with 87 rating. No playstyle pluses for Cruz and Tavares, but Almeida has power header plus. Reyes got intercept plus. Fernandez got press proven plus. Acrobatic plus for Barbosa and aerial plus for Andrade. It is Felipe Barbosa who overcome Andrade with 25 goals and 5 assists. Barbosa had no potential when we signed him. Alessandro Andrade with 18 goals and 3 assists. Martins with 6 goals and 5 assists from the CDM position and 13 assists from Kleber Lopez, our captain and the main playmaker of the team. Here is the team going to the first season in the Premier League. We have only two players under 80 rated, that is Lopez and Alves in the starting 11. And also in the bench we have 179 rated player and bunch of 70, 170, 72 rated players and couple of players are on loan. For this season our goal is to end up in European football position. It, it can be the Conference League, Europa League but ideally we wish to play Champions League next season. We have come to an end of the first season in the Premier League. In the May, you see we had four games and four wins, and this is giving me a hope. We have come one point short of the third place and with equal points with Chelsea. Just with bad goal difference, we have come fifth and we are going to play Europa League instead of Champions League, and this is sad. But first season in the Premier League, fifth, that's an achievement in my book. 17 goals from Barbosa, 16 goals and 3 assists from Andrade, 6 and 6 from Lopez. Clearly you can see that we under delivered in terms of goals. So what we are going to do, we are going to simulate our 7th season, the 2nd season and the Premier League and hopefully we can win either Europa League to go to the Champions League or we can end up in the first 4 and go to Champions League directly. We are matched up against Manchester City in the Emirates FA Cup second time already in the final. And let's see whether this time we can finally win this cup. And let's check Premier League and we are first. Only 72 points. Seems that it should be a fourth or fifth place but I don't care. We won Premier League 20 wins and that was enough. Let's see the stats from our players. From the girls perspective it is Felipe Barbosa. 35 goals and 2 assists. That is great. Fernandez from the camp position. 17 goals and 8 assists. A little bit of a letdown from Alessandro Andrade. Only 17 goals and 6 assists from the second striker position. And as always the great play maker that we have Kleber Lopez with 15 assists FA Cup final against Manchester City let's simulate and see Forest Green wins 1-0 this is the second trophy we got in England and in the Europa League we were eliminated in the round of 16 Villarreal knocked us out now we are in the eighth season of this career third season in Premier League and first season in Champions League in the round of 16 our opponent was Napoli and we smashed them 4-1 Next opponent is Barcelona. First game ended up 2-1 victory for us and come on second game 3-0 victory 5-1. Next opponent in semi-finals are Villarreal. First game is 1-1 draw. Yes we passed them 4-3 victory in the end and we are in the Champions League final. We have come first in Premier League with 93 points. This time we got 21 points more than the previous season, but the previous season we also won the Premier League. That was the very strange season. We won Community Shield as well, second trophy of the season. We won FA Cup as well, 4-1 victory in the final against Manchester United. In Carabao Cup we won 2-1 in the final against Manchester City. This is our fourth trophy of the season. Before jumping to Champions League final, let's check the stats for our players. Yeah, this is ridiculous. 49 goals from Felipe Barbosa and 7 assists. 33 goals from Alessandro Andrade, Kleber Lopez, 90 rated, 18 assists and 22 goals. And Alves, 17 assists and 16 goals. Here is the impressive team that we managed to create. The lowest rated players in the starting 11 are Tavares and Alves with 89 rating. Highest is Andrade with 94. Overall very well balanced team. Let's go and get this Champions League trophy. Through ball to Breno. Breno inside Barbosa shoots and great save from Unai Simon. Plays with Gavi Sule again. 
Putel. Sensational, sensational attack from Inter. We couldn't do anything within the attack. The accuracy and a first time shot from Tell. 1 0 to Inter. Come on, guys. We need to come back to the game as quickly as possible. Oh, great turn from Tell. Plays with Sule. Tell again. Shoots and 2 0. Matthias Tell with Brace. I don't think we can come back to this game, but we will try. We will definitely try. Martins tries to find Breno. Andrade, green time finish from our striker and 2-1, back in the game, Barbosa, great finish. Andrade, Barbosa, Alves, through ball to Barbosa, Lopez and 2-2, great attack, 89th minute, we are back in the game, come on, that's what we needed, our captain stepped up big time, come on guys, we need to win this game. We are going to penalties. 120 minutes. We are equal. 2-2. Clash of the Titans. First is Barbosa. Oh. Save from Simon. Zule. 1-0 to Inter. Andrade. He converted. 1-1. Uh, one, one. Pagioli. And the save from Teixeira as well. Cruz. We need to score this one. And Unai Simon saves again. Gonzalo Ramos in the middle. Come on, guys. Race. Come on. Score this. Yeah. We are in the game. 2-2. Two, two. But we need to get this one from Zaniolo. Zaniolo. Yes, Teixeira. Tavares. Center back. Scores. Alejandro Garnacho, Argentinian, against Teixeira. And Teixeira gets the penalty! We won the Champions League final. Three penalties parried by our goalkeeper, the first player we signed to the academy, Dennis Teixeira, the hero of the night. That was some ending of this story. Teixeira, the bold genius, the goalkeeper that brought us the Champions League trophy. Yes, we did it. We got Champions League trophy with Forest Green using only Brazilians from Youth Academy. If you enjoyed this video, comment, subscribe and check the other content on the channel.